guys, it's Logan, and today I'm going to be doing my first ever glossy box unboxing. And daily, you saw it come, and you gave warning, but couldn't run, and so you watched until it was broken. I am here today with my dear friend who will be very quiet. I had some technical difficulties so the actual box is open but I'm going to be looking at the products and telling you about them as my first impressions. So my first impression of the Glossy Box packaging is that it's quite lovely. It's a dusty rose color and it's really classy and elegant and I really really enjoy this color. I totally want a shirt in this color. So the actual Glossy Box products are wrapped in a black tissue paper that is wound up in this beautiful ribbon that I will probably be wearing in my hair sometime soon. I adore ribbons and the fact that it comes with one, just the thrifter in me is wanting to use it for something. So the first thing on top is the little packet that tells you all about the products in this box. I'm going to put this aside and only consult it when I come across each specific product. The first product is the one that when I had technical difficulties I already actually opened so it's a little bit torn up but it is the Dr. Brandt BB cream. It's supposed to be a matte BB cream and apparently it's got some kind of like marine technology in it and it's my mother just asked if she could have it. I've actually never used a real like BB cream. I have the Clinique CC cream, which I love, but I never used a BB cream, especially not one that's marketed as matte. Normally, I think BB creams are marketed as more of a um, light, dewy coverage, but apparently this one's matte. Um, I'm going to take a little sniff of this because I want to know what it smells like. That's a huge factor for me. It smells like nothing, so if you have an aversion to scents, this would be good. The next product I'm seeing is this Akai Deep Conditioning Hair Mask, and it is apparently like everything good for your hair. All things that my crazy hair could use. It is also good for colored hair, which is a huge factor for me considering that a lot, a lot of my hair is colored and just I've done so much to it. This also smells like nothing. The next product that I'm coming across are these absolute makeup cleansing tissues with green tea extract and if you have watched any, any, any of my videos before you know that I am a huge tea lover. This is basically rubbing tea on my face which is probably a pleasant feeling if it's in white form. These actually smell a little bit like tea but they still have that kind of very signature makeup remover scent to them so the scent is not offensive at all and it's quite pleasant in my opinion. Honestly I can never have too many makeup removers because I wear so much makeup and sometimes it takes a couple different wipes just to remove the face that I've caked on to myself. So this will definitely be helpful this month especially since school is starting back up so I'll have to be wearing makeup nearly every day. The next product in here is the Apparently it's pronounced Bulgari, but I don't see how because that's a V, not a U, but whatever. It is a shampoo and shower gel. I'll probably be rubbing this on my body as a shower gel because I really only use a couple different shampoos because my hair is so curly, so crazy that a lot of things will damage it. Ooh, it smells lovely. It smells literally like a Chanel or Dior perfume, like... It kind of reminds me of the Dior Addict perfume in the like purple bottle. That's definitely the scent that I'm getting from this. It's very musky and I love, love, love that. I love really like thick, potent, kind of old lady smelling things. I'm not a huge fan of like the florals and the fruits. Normally I use men's body wash, so maybe this will be noticeably different considering that it smells very much like a woman. A musky woman. The next product in here is a product by Figs and Rouge which is a lip balm. It's in really, really cool packaging that I'm getting a lot of 60s, 70s essence. It literally looks like I could have bought this at Woodstock, but it's not drugs. And it is in the color Cherry Blossom, which is my absolute favorite flower in the world. And I'm assuming that means it is a, yeah, it's like a pinky red color. But as rubbing it into my finger, it like actually tinted the skin on my finger. Uh, a lot of tinted lip products in my past experience have just kind of coated the lips and then the tint goes away. It smells kind of like 
candy or something really, really sweet and lovely, I might be thoroughly enjoying this. Um, I think this is actually a full size too, so this is the one full size product that you get every month. The next thing I'm seeing is this Nails Ink Nail Polish. It is in the color... nope. I almost said it's in the color flammable. It does not have a name, so it's in blue. It's kind of a royal blue, I would say, but a little more pastel. I love dark colors, and lately I've kind of been in sort of a nail polish rut where I've been wearing mainly the reds and the blacks, and I haven't worn a bright color in a while. So I think this is a good combination of dark and pastel for my nails, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this probably as soon as I paint my nails. I'm thoroughly enjoying this color, and this is actually a pretty good size for me personally because Unless the nail polish is black or a top coat, I can never seem to get through a whole bottle of nail polish. So I have no problem with this and I'm really excited for this. All in all, as this is my first glossy box, I am so impressed and very pleased with every single product. I can honestly see myself using all of these at some point in the very near future. I'm hopefully going to be doing these every month, uh, along with monthly favorites. These should be... <laughs> My kitten has come to say hello. I will definitely keep you guys updated. If any of these show up in my monthly favorites, I honestly wouldn't be that surprised because they all seem really good and perfect for my life. Please take a minute to like, favorite, and subscribe, especially if you like kittens that are attacking the, the worms that resemble my hair in this box. But I hope you enjoy this video as much as you can enjoy my obnoxious self. Bye.